Hello, welcome to a daily run with Isaac. Yesterday's run was okay. Let's see if we can do better. That's why we're here. Improve, improve, improve. Find the item room straight away, which is great when we have something like the D6. Because it gives us a good opportunity to maybe recharge the D6 before the boss. And get, you know, two rerolls out of one floor, which could be great. Uh, of course, it's a question mark. <laughs> is it an XL floor? No. Shit. <laughs> it's horrible and I hate it. Why XL floor? Well, as we know, XL floors will give you a deal with the devil unless you take red heart damage. So I could have taken red heart damage instead of using a bomb, because there was a red heart outside, provided uh, that um, we weren't worried about using that red heart. Got a little bit distracted there because I was thinking, in what situations would I want to re-roll the boss item, given that we are on a curse of the blind? I'm thinking basically, if it's like Headless Horseman, which it's not, that's the only active item I can think of from basically any boss. But, um, I mean, even, I can't even think of anything from Monstro that could be uh, an active item that we can pick up and put back down if we didn't like it and re-roll it. So, we're in a bit of a, a minor pickle in as much as we can't decide whether to re- oh, bad re-roll this item because we don't know what it's going to be. We have to pick it up, basically. Please don't die to fucking Monstro 2. I've been dodging like a... really badly. <laughs> I've not been dodging well, is what I'm trying to say here. So we'll see what we get. It's HP upgrade, which actually takes us out of that slight danger zone there. I will come back here and take this HP that we left behind. Uh, but I'm going to have to play a little bit better than this. Obviously. And we might as well go down to the next floor. We're going as far as Isaac. So the cathedral. So Isaac versus Isaac. That's going to be the title of this episode. Interesting. So don't take damage here. If you can manage it. This is not a good start. But okay. We haven't actually been hit. It's just this could be dangerous. Paperfly is such a bad item. I mean how do you know? Right? <clears throat> it's not like you can even say. I'll see if there's a black candle on the shop. A. We didn't have any money. B. Wouldn't have known it was black candle. Right? Please, Sloth. Uh -oh. I'm bored of your shenanigans. Die. What can Sloth give us? Uh, I don't think it's nine lives. That's uh, pride, I believe. Whew. So. Don't know. Nothing that we can re-roll, I expect. Do we have a curse? We do not have a curse. We can at least see the items and determine whether to re-roll them. Just a card. That's kind of what I expected. We might as well use this world card. It will give us some speed. I mean... Early floors, they're fairly linear usually. A couple of dead ends maybe, but by and large, uh, you're going to be pretty simple situation of you follow the runes. Please don't hit me. <laughs> I would like a, a, a tinted drop to show up so that I can maybe use my bomb, get a spirit heart, <clears throat> but it doesn't seem to work out that way. I panicked because the things exploded on the fire and I thought they were coming for me. I dodged out of the way and walked into the fly. Well, we've taken red heart damage now, so there's no real reason not to go to the cursed room. I seem to be playing incorrectly. Gimpy. Gimpy is great. Gimpy could actually help us out quite considerably here. I'm going to go to the secret room in case it gives us some benefit. <clears throat> not sure what benefit it could give us, but I guess we try. This runs not started well, and we haven't actually lost our deal with the devil chance, we've just reduced it. So we have to continue to be... Just have to be better. <laughs> just stop playing so badly. It's not a difficult situation. It's an Isaac run. We have, you know, vanilla Isaac stats. It's only the second floor, so we should be just as good at this room, uh, at this floor, as we were at the previous floor. It's not unexpected. Kane's eye doesn't really do too much for us. We might as well take it, because there's no reason not to. One of these is probably the super secret room, but we haven't got any bombs, so it doesn't matter. Larry Jr. Probably the more difficult boss, especially in a situation like this where there's so many um, obstacles. It's very rare to get a penny out of the poop on a boss room. It's even more rare. Fuck you, Larry Jr. Do you see this shit? He wouldn't get out of the fucking way. This Papa Fly is absolute shite. 
I'm so upset. <laughs> I'm really, really salty about this because it's such a shit item. Like, it's flying around the room doing maybe one shot every never. I mean, it's doing some damage, but it's not nearly enough to make me feel a bit better about this fight. And that fucking... Uh, five cents and a box. Where are my spirit hearts at, though? To a club. Does give us some opportunity for some uh, bombs later. Blue Baby Soul. I don't think it's very good. We might as well have Kane's Eye. It will at least help us figure out where we're going on some floors. All it does is, on some floors when you enter, gives you the map. Uh, I'm not sure how much of the map, some of the map. With one bomb, we don't want to use two of clubs, because we can get two, bo two bombs with zero bombs with two of clubs. Might as well go in here. I feel like our rate of fire is lower than I expect it to be. Or, for some, for some strange artifact of this run where poops aren't popping in as many shots as I expect. And <laughs> Which one do we take? We'll, we'll use the two of spades and keep the two of clubs. Because we can get probably more good stuff out of clubs, out of bombs, than out of keys. I don't know. Why have I only got two charges on my... Uh... Oh, it's because I re-rolled it, of course. We've got Gimpy. Gimpy's a pretty decent item. It's very good defensively, but... It hasn't actually paid out yet. <laughs> Reserve judgment slightly there. I'm not going to use my bomb to find a second secret room because I only have one bomb. I don't want to use a two of clubs yet to try and use it in both positions. This has not started out too well. Our main upgrade is currently Gimpy, which I don't want to sound too vitriolic about. It's not that bad an item, but it doesn't... There's no way we're doing hush <laughs> in this situation, is what I'm thinking. Because... We need to be much stronger and much faster for a hush fight. We need fire once in a blue fucking moon. Such a shit item. If I'd known, I would have re-rolled it. But that's uh, that's why Curse of the Blind is a curse. It causes you to pick up these trollop items like Papa fucking Fly. Careful. We do get a Spirit Heart out of this, which is the first real defense that we've had so far to stop ourselves taking silly damage uh, and squandering our deal with the devil, but we have to continue not to be hit mostly because you know, we still have to beat the boss without getting red heart hit and I'm not entirely sure we can beat this fight because this fucker is spitting out these things faster than I can kill him which is almost literally true, there we go so much damage goes into these things Boring. Die. Thank you. I'm not going to use a bomb. Don't really care about that. This just seems like such an underpowered run, considering... <sighs> Holy shit. We knew exactly what was going to happen. It's an Isaac run. It's as vanilla as hell. It's Super Mario. You know, it's not even got the weird up B, get back on move of Yoshi, where you try and press up B and you throw an egg and you're not on the edge anymore and you're panicking and you go, oh shit, I'm dead. You know, we've got very standard things. There's no... There's no weirdness to this run, it's just straight up Isaac, and yet we're shit in the bed completely. <laughs> I think maybe we take Judas' Shadow, hope for a deal with the devil, come back as Dark Judas, and at least get some value out of this run. I mean, besides, there's some value in it already, we've got Gimpy, we're not completely starved, we could go to the shop. We do have two keys, which is more than enough. Uh, sorry, two bombs, which is more than enough to make two of clubs worthwhile. At least it gives us some uh, some economy on the two of clubs rather than just using it straight up. But it's not really more than enough. It's exactly enough to make the two of clubs maybe worth considering. We have been hit once, but not a second time, so I'm feeling okay about that. But I'm still like any sort of upgrade. Which is why I'm thinking of keeping hold of Dark Judas, the Judas Shadow here, killing ourselves on the deal with the devil. Coming back as Dark Judas, which is where Dark Judas came into my brain, actually having some damage for once in a forever. Let's um let's do this. <laughs> this seems like a sensible idea. Rather than trying to blow up the thing and having them follow us. Just have them stuck in the 
corral here. Good. And we can now... Okay. Yes, Spirit Heart. Good idea. The, um... Ventricular Razor is not actually a terrible item, but it's one of those items where you just don't really find yourself actually having a use for it. It feels like you should always have a use for it. But, um... Whenever you get it, you then... This seems great, etc. And then... Suddenly you have to start thinking with portals. It's not that easy in a 2D game. All you can do is get from one room to a previous room. Like you would leave a portal somewhere and go back to it. Which um, it sounds amazing, but... It can get you out of things like the cursed room. Absolutely for shizzle. Oh, thank you Gimpy for rescuing me there. Because I'm very much guaranteed to take even more damage on this fight. Especially if we use all our bombs. And these eyes and the amount of space that we have. We just need to kill it faster. I think Papa Fly is actually doing some some good on this particular fight, but we're I'm not doing very well. I'd like it to be over. Like now. Ah The fucking creep! I can't move! Oh, this is stressing me out so much. Fucking die! Jesus Christ! Holy shit! Headphones, seriously. Stop pissing me off. Headphones. Hang on. Stay plugged in. Right. I am getting super salty right now. I shit you not. I'm about to throw a shit fit. I took the fucking HP because I didn't even think of re-rolling it. I'm trying to go faster, but we haven't got a single upgrade. We can't get through these floors without taking damage because we can't fucking not take damage because the only fucking item we've got so far is Papa God fucking damn fly. Just, just stop getting hit. You're going to take a long time to hit them. Just forget about Bus Rush. Forget about Hush. Stop trying. You're trying too hard. This is the uh, caves. Right, so this is an easy version of the floor. That was the flooded caves, which is basically the hardest version of that floor. You're doing default damage, so don't worry about it too much. Just keep on top of it. You know, make sure these things are controlled. Keep the crowd control going. Two hits on these flies still. Papa Fly, get the fuck over here, man. What are you even here for? Can we reach these? Yes? Yes. Right. Of course, they could have suicided themselves at any time, but they chose not to for once. Good. We're finally done with that floor. All right, calm down. Stop shouting at the camera. It's not the audience's fault. It's not even the camera. It's just a microphone here. We say on camera, but there's no camera. Start dodging like a champ. Play this game that you've got 1,000 hours in or something. Probably more like 700. And actually do well. It's not that fucking hard. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quite happy with Tech Point 5. Probably not a good time to start thinking about doing a... Self-sacrifice room, although we could turn into Dark Judas. And try and teleport ourselves to the Dark Room and just have done with this fucking run. There's no way we're getting to boss rush. Look at the time we're on. 12 minutes. Ah. We're okay. Taking some such silly damage though. That's the trouble. It's not like it's been valuable damage. It's just turned to shit. I've still got these two of clubs. I am holding on to it. I think we can get a decent amount of economy out of it if we just hold on for a while. Not really using bombs, although I did use them all on the peak fight, and had I used it on the peak fight, we probably would have got through it without taking as much damage, and maybe got a deal with the devil. I mean, this is probably the strongest, like, malfunction with this run right now, is that we're just doing so badly, because we can't upgrade ourselves with a deal with the devil, because we're not fucking getting one, right? It's second to a club. I, I paid five cents for a bomb, basically. Uh... I have nothing to say. It's just... It's just underwhelming. It's not just underwhelming, but because I'm sort of going into this sort of self-deprecating cycle, I don't know how to break out of it. We have to break out of it by doing really well on a boss fight. If you're going to give me peep, that's not going to happen. Especially peep with a very tightly controlled space. I mean, those eyes have already got a bit of a shitty hitbox, and it's difficult to deal with. That was a great shot by that thing, but also... Fucking bullshit, man. Die! Excellent. Lemon Party, that would have been good against... Chad, it would, actually. 
We have a thingy. Do I want to re-roll little Chad? I'm kind of tempted to. What I'm going to do, I'll go to the deal with the devil, which we're basically guaranteed here, because little Chad, uh, big Chad, ain't going to do us that much damage, I uh, hope. <laughs> and if we want to re-roll the deal with the devil, we can. We want to spend as much HP as possible, because we're going to use it all up anyway, respawning as Dark Judas. So, man, look how much damage we are not doing. It's preposterous. We have to try and get tech point five to shoot it sort of end on so that we get as many segments in the laser as possible. And honestly, it's just kind of a disheartening show right now. We've got base damage and we've got base tears. I'm intrigued to know what deals with the devil I missed. This could have been an excellent run had we not fucked it up. So we'll leave that there. It's fucking Krampus. You are taking the piss game. Actually taking the goddamn piss. It's not just fucking Krampus. It's Krampus in a bullshit room. Doing bullshit attacks. Stop it, you bastard. We've got a temperance card, which we still can kill ourselves with. At least we've got to deal with the devil. But this is now a uh, angel room run, I guess. If we ever do that again. You know, if we ever get that far. I'm going to avoid taking this HP for now. And we can always reroll... Krampus's head, which we will, if it's Krampus's head, we will re-roll Krampus's head, hopefully into something amazing like Death's Touch, Brimstone itself, oh, for fuck's sake. Rotten Baby is okay. Uh, and we'll Temperance, oh, I should have done it on the outside so that we, oh, whatever. If it's still open, it's still open. Bit of a misplay, but, you know, you can't win them all. Please don't turn into the blood bag. <laughs> Actually, let's see what we can get out of this. We might as well get the money and a couple of luck upgrades, apparently, as well. I mean, Rot Baby is a decent damage upgrade, usually, but... Maybe not in this situation? Yeah, that was a bit of a misplay again, but at least we can do some damage now. Um, Rot Baby is usually pretty good, but it scales with your tears, and our tears are still pretty shit, even though we're now Dark Judas. That was a lot of damage to have taken for what is essentially a reasonably minor upgrade because it's... I think Dark Judas is a damage multiplier and our damage multiplier is still not very much. And now we're on, you know, Necropolis 1, which is a difficult version of this floor. Uh, trying to work out... Oh, I left my uh, two of clubs behind as well, which was not intentional, but there you go. Difficult version of this floor. We've only just broken away from base damage and only because we had to kill ourselves to do so. It's not like it was... You know, handed to us on the silver platter. We've got some cash for it, so we can maybe buy something from the shop. I'd love to see uh, the champion belt, because this is an easy mode run, apparently. This means fewer champions, so putting more champions on the screen won't really be that big a deal, because it'll be what we're used to, hopefully, or less than. I do want to do that mob trap room as well, but we've only got one key, and I think opening a random golden chest with one key is not quite such a great idea when... What we really want to do is get to either, the, well, it's the second key. We want to get to both the shop and the item room before we even consider any other options. Rotten Baby's Flies are doing a considerable amount of damage to the things that are here. I and mean, we know about this lemon party pill, so we could use that on a room that is particularly troublesome and also contains ground-based enemies. But I, I, I don't know of any. <laughs> Maybe we'll get an opportunity to use it. Maybe we'll re-roll it. Not re roll it, maybe we'll just dump it. Um, no. We have got three keys. A fourth one, and I will definitely do both of those. Uh, both of those chests in the mob trap room. We look like we're going to be basically going in that direction anyway, so. <laughs> we're doing enough damage now that that charge there didn't actually turn out too badly. Oh, yeah, fucking do it. In fact, should we re roll that? Sure. Now we've got Death's Touch. Death's Touch. Death Touch just straight up, uh... Hello? Oh, Fate's Reward is firing the Death Touch thing, but this is just straight up tech. Which confused me for a while, because of course I didn't realise <laughs> that it had happened. I didn't want to buy that, I won't buy that, but okay. So we've got a Lemon Party Pill, and we can re-roll as much as we want. So this is, uh... I've turned this run into a scumbag bullshit run, but game, you did it, not me. Let's take as long as we want and 
do as well as we can. I think we're actually doing some decent damage now. I mean, we maintain Dark Judas. What? <laughs> what is this? I hate you. Good. The occasional Death's Touch shot coming out of uh, Fate's Reward is actually pretty nice. I'm Tech 1. Is that Tech 1? Yeah, I think so. It's also a, a decent item. Let's take this. It gives us more bombs, and bombs are going to be useful to us. Tech 1 is stronger than Tech 2. Tech 2 is a solid laser, but does less damage. You can have both at once, of course. There's a bomb. Good start. Start to our bomb economy. With that bomb, we can get to the secret room, or maybe the super secret room. Since becoming Dark Judas, I have not really been hit. I mean, I have. Not completely uh, free of that. But I've barely been hit, right? We have got more HP than we came down to the floor with, and we lost half an HP when we arrived on the floor, so... We kind of know where we stand on that. Oh, good, we've got Kane's other eye. 48 hour energy. Well... <laughs> Guess we try this for some spirit hearts. Go to the next room. Petrified poop could be good, but maybe a bit too late. Judgment. No. Lemon party might help us with this next boss, so I'm just gonna keep it. Let's go down to ten. Well, it went down to ten anyway, so whatever. We could go to that super secret room, but I don't really intend to. And no, I'm not gonna re-roll now, because being able to shoot through these enemies is gonna make the mask of infamy, the mask part. So much easier to deal with. Because trying to shoot this thing from the back or the side, it's just bollocks. It's just impossible to deal with. Come on now. If Fate's Reward was less shit, that'd be stupendously nice. Might as well take this. We did get an Angel Run. We've got the Soul. Which we're going to immediately re-roll, but... Let's go down to the next floor and see what the heavens bring us. Reroll! We have got... Oh, Ludo Technique. That was weird because it made a, a blink noise. Are you gonna... No, okay. Money equals power. Magic Mush is a decent damage upgrade. Our rate of fire is really low, but our damage is huge. We've got the Wafer as well, but that's not gonna last until the time when it actually starts to matter, unfortunately. Yeah, our shot speed is super slow, so we can't really get our bullet, our tear to where we want it to be before it becomes a problem and we can't actually, uh, we have to move it again. So, Holy Mantle though is going to completely mitigate the majority of the damage that we could ever take. So, um, maybe it will help us, it's not going to help us get to boss rush, but maybe we have a chance of reaching the hush if we keep re-rolling like this and getting this good. And of course, every single time we take a coin, our damage goes up slightly. Wouldn't mind the speed upgrade that I just re-rolled back, but that can't have everything. And of course we have Lost Protector and uh, Multidimensional Baby. And Multidimensional Baby is literally doing nothing. There's nothing that we can shoot through it, and it doesn't affect our Ludovico technique tier, so what are you going to do, huh? These enemies can be annoying with Ludo because you have to chase them around. We can do the Curse Room for free. Even this thing has no chance, yeah. Do we re-roll again? Maybe. We get out first so it doesn't hurt. We have run the when the fun guy transformation, we have real tears. Uh we've got that What's that called? I can't remember. I actually quite like this run. I'm possibly in the market now for a uh, new space bar item. We're quite fast. We've got a lot of HP, we've got a decent amount of damage, plenty of bombs, we've got a cricket's head. Robo Baby 2.0 has no place in my family. Uh, Ares is a speed upgrade, so that's probably why we're so fast. Oh, hello. I see you up there. Yeah, our damage is great here. I mean, I kind of do want to reroll just to see what else we can get. There's plenty more um, permanent transformations we can get besides Fun Guy. We can take this, put it back down again. Do another room and re-roll it? We're not going to get Ludo back, and I think Ludo was probably the most awkward thing that we had today. I bought that because it turns things into two things. So for now, that's a good idea. This is 
depths two. So we don't want to do this yet. Mm. Let's re-roll before we do the mom fight because we are terribly bad individuals who have no respect for anything at all. We'll play this Joker. What have you got for me? Come on. Just an item. Yeah, sweet. I don't know if the D100 actually re-rolls everything on the floor, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here, re-roll it over here. Sorry, recharge. Oh, just take the battery. To hell with it. Reroll. What have we got now? Anti-gravity. Uh, no, chocolate milk. We've got anti-grav chocolate milk, which doesn't really help. It does not re-roll this, so now we've at least got sin robes. This gives us that extra bit of HP. And a decent amount of damage up as well. Just for the mom fight, which we're actually going to be pretty good for, because... I'll take the damage upgrade from... Nah. Yeah, we don't need bombs anymore. We're going to be really good for the mom fight because we could just walk into it with the uh, sack dagger anyway. Well, you didn't come down nearly as quickly as I anticipated you doing. So that's a bit upsetting. But yeah, this isn't going to last long. Oh, hello. I see you. Got Midas touch as well. And we won an angel room. Maybe it's making up for lost time. Take the Polaroid because why not? Uh, we might as well take this and then leave. <laughs> We're going to re-roll it. We haven't got to boss rush. Don't care. This run was almost a train wreck. It was only the D100 that saved this, basically. We did make the plunge for Dark Judas, Dark Judas, but honestly, who cares, right? Oh, a look upgrade. I assume that stays. I don't think the D100 rerolls your uh, stats. I think it just rerolls your items, and it doesn't even reroll, obviously, your D100. So some things stay, and of course, you keep your transformations. So. Yeah, I think it's a... Uh, it could turn out to be an amazing run at the end of all this. We've got five minutes to get to Hush, which could be not the worst idea in the world. I did get hit, but I'm having trouble giving a shit. Kind of slow, not as f not as slow as we could be. We've definitely been way slower than this. Glitter Bombs is nice. Small Rock is nice. If you re-roll out of the Small Rock, you can pick it up again. Which is quite nice, because it means that there's... Ways of getting out, it's kind of unlikely, but there are ways of getting out of it if you reroll into a particularly poor run. But our damage individually is also pretty nice, and of course we can tap shoot if we need to. I'm wondering what our damage is like if we are tap shooting, actually. That could be uh, worth checking out. Not terrible. That was the, uh, the wrong thing to do there. Can you not be shooting me, though? I'm down with you not shooting me. Ooh. Well, I guess we needed those. We did get hit a few times, so it stands to reason, really. It's just science. This is probably a secret room. Got our bomb back. Keys are going to be useful if we're going to go down to Hush, but we need to make it there first. I mean, we're doing enough damage, but do we have enough speed, and are we going to go in the right direction? That was very lucky. I stood still and hoped for the best, and I think Sack Dagger actually caught it. We've got Conjoined. Can we fly? Yes. I think Conjoined is fly. Uh, excuse me? How can we still have anti-gravity? We have anti-gravity, double vision, 2020, mulligan, spoon bender, and somehow the kidney stone. Oh yeah, you do that. Ah, oh, completely forgot. Oh, I'm cursed of the tower, so don't worry. All is fair. So, <laughs> okay. Kidney stone anti-gravity appears to just put very explosive sort of clusters on the ground. It's pretty nice. Yeah, check this out. What was I getting hit by? Also, why are we getting these... Um, oh, we've got sad bombs. I understand. So our Curse of the Tower is producing bombs, which are getting our bomb synergies because we made them. Right, I see what we were hit by. Samson's chain exploded the sorts of rocks that hurt you if you explode them. Guess we'll take this then. Um, we could do that teleport. I don't know how much HP we've got. We probably want to do the... Can we even make it to Hurst? I'm starting to think maybe not. Do you want to let go? Thank you. <laughs> it wasn't firing. Ah, Reroll. What have we got now? Uh, Monstro's alone? We've got a little brimstone. Why can't I actually fire? Okay, I have to charge up longer. I can't tell when I'm charged up. Because of our conjoined. 
So we're going to want to re-roll this pretty quickly. But it seems decent. It's just that it also seems like shit. I mean, we could just use a little brimstone if we really, want, really wanted to. But kind of don't. We're not going to make it to Hush because we have a whole extra floor to do still. And we are not even nearly there. So it's kind of a shame. But also... We're just trying to make the best we can out of this run. You know, to hell with bonuses. <laughs> we just need to win. Oh, it's a uh, it's conquest conquest with magic bullets. Please don't do random beams of light from heaven ever again. It doesn't fill me with confidence. No, Brim, just deal with it so that I can re-roll. It did. Can't say fairer than that. Uh, no. <laughs> do that. Well. Do you want to do this now, or do you think we should wait till the next floor? I think you can tell by the fact I'm on my way. What my answer's going to be. If this kills us, I'm beyond caring. We're still on spirit hearts, so that's nice. Wouldn't have minded, like, maybe a Dagar's rune or anything. Rosary. Fair enough. We're now Seraphim. Sensor, fair enough. Of course, now we're getting Curse of the Towers all over again. I don't need to fight you, but apparently you're dead, so... Whatever. Oh, great. Thanks. We'll see what our HP is like if we don't die first. When we get down to the next floor. Careful. I very much appreciate the fact that these angels don't move whilst those beams are still active. Because that is just kind of bullshit when that happens. Why are you taking damage from stuff? Oh, it's, it's our sensor. It's so far behind. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. The sensor's so far behind that things that are on the other side of the the room are being damaged by it. We have question mark. Okie dokie. Now we have nine lives. So it's going to be fun. Hopefully we have some spirit hearts left at the end of all that because otherwise we're going to be dying a lot. Please. Please. I can't charge up. Where's my face? I can't scratch my nose, which is always something I have to do. Yep. Yeah. We have no HP. Oh, we came back as a... Resurrected Lazarus, of all people. Which is great, because it means we stay in this room and can actually try and beat it. But when <laughs> when can I fire? Our rate of fire is abysmal. With, especially with Monstro's Lung, because we have to fully charge it. It's not like... Um, it's not like chocolate milk, where you can sort of release a half-charged shot. Thank you for landing on a spider. Let us re-roll. What do we have now? How have we still not got Guppy, by the way? Uh, this seems like bullshit. Oh, we got number two. How do we know about all this? We must have gained the benefit of some item or other. Oh, help. <laughs> What's happening? Amazing. Somehow I succeeded there, so... Nice hat. Uh, I guess we're okay. <laughs> Very trepid about this particular endeavour right now. Oh shit, the, the bombs, the bombs! How am I doing these dodges, though? Mm. Fuck. Well. Somehow we have to survive several rooms. Despite the fact we only have one HP and we've not yet been graced... Ooh, careful with some uh, some spirit hearts. I assume that if we um, oh we don't have Gimpy anymore. What <laughs> what is going on? We may not survive this because unfortunately, when we picked up nine lives, we were on red hearts. We didn't have any spirit hearts left as a result of having the uh, having done the the angel room, the self sacrifice room. So we came down with. Red HP and no spirit hearts. So when we took nine lives, which I should have seen coming. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> Maybe we try and find a battery charge? I don't know. When we took nine lives, it reduced us to one, one HP. We can't bomb through these rooms either, which is the worst part. I mean, normally you'd just be like, fuck this room, I'm bombing out. Fuck this room, I'm bombing out. You can't do that. You spawned on top of me! Can we at least have some refractory period where this doesn't... I'm getting so salty about this fucking run right now. I, I, I 
can't do it. <laughs> this is not possible. We know where the boss is. We might as well just go that way. We have to beat this room. This is the only room we have to beat, so we just focus our time on this room. Lemon party. Here you go. Have lemon party. Mm. Motherfuckers. Have some fucking fiery poopy bombs. Why do we have um, an increased damage stat? Dark Lazarus, well, resurrected Lazarus doesn't come with lusty bl uh, bloody lust or anything, does it? So we must have bloody lust on its own. Or we've been hit enough times. I see that we have uh, purity, which gives us a stat boost. So every time we get hit, it changes stats. So we must have switched enough times that we are now on damage. So I think Lemon Party actually saved us on this floor. So kind of glad that I took it. Never would have expected it, but here we are. Please. We're done. Da, 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 da. Now we just have to survive the other rooms. Unfortunately, this is not as good a run as I was hoping it would have been. But also, we only really need to worry about... Um... Ooh, that was nice. Basically, the next room. The Bible. No use. We beat this room. It's got two deaths in it. So we keep avoiding the sides, somehow. We don't get hit. We kill the death. Please. We kill the death. We kill the death. Yep. And then we kill this death. We should be using Blue Baby's only friend, but on oh, honestly, I think it's a bit of a fool's gambit because I'm not sure it's going to be doing enough damage, considering how much mental energy it takes to sort of maintain the positioning of it and, and get it right. We got rid of the we got into horsey moving mode, so don't need to worry about the sides anymore. We do need to worry about moving horsey. Of course, it's not really taking any horrible damage from the, the stuff that we're leaving all over the floor, which really made a number on the chubs in the chub fight, but it's not doing anything here. Here, do this. Pretty fly. Pretty sure. Fly. No, put it down. Reroll. Halo of flies. No, distant admiration. Alright, what have we got here? Uh, who even knows? Let's go. What's the worst could happen? We get hit. I understand. We have Zodiac, which could basically be giving us anything right now. I am not confident here. <laughs> not very confident at all, I have to be honest. Thank you, Dry Baby. We could hide behind Dry Baby, it's not impossible. Send little Gertie bouncing around. We've got, um, we've got Dead Eye, which means the more we hit it, the more damage we'll do. But we're really not doing much damage at all. We have to be very vigilant on this. Shit. We just got saved the shit out of by Infamy just now. Hate to mention it, but it is true. That's exactly what just happened. Help, help. Whew. Damn dodges, though. Just change. Next fucking next phase, please. Little Gertie, go. Gertie, yeah, little Gertie. Ah! Oh, we took damage and we're okay. Quick, do orbital damage. We have Celtic Cross Invincibility, which means we can actually get orbital damage in before we have to worry about it it's coming out again. So that's decent. Oh shit! At some point, this thing's going to charge us as well, so we need to watch out for that. Yeah, like that. Try and hit them both at once with Tech 2 if we can. Tech 2 is a damage downgrade, unfortunately, so... All the damage we could have had has somewhat been cannibalized by it. How much HP have we got? This is amazing. And you think a Proptosis run would be uh, a lot better than this, but unfortunately, it isn't. So there you go. I don't know why I moved then, but I'm glad that I did. Right, body is dead. Shit! We're okay. Keep going. Don't die at this point. That'd be the worst thing. I hate the fact it doesn't move for a while and then it decides to all of a sudden. Dry baby, save me. It is. It's saving me. Dry baby, you're the best. Good, go. Just, just leave it. <laughs> Whenever that happens, take it. Deal with it. We could sort of stand here like this. We're fine. Try and hit with one of the uh, ah! the other sides of the shots. Look, stop doing the fucking brimstone attack. You bastard. We just need to keep doing damage. We'll be there eventually. 
We're okay. Dry baby is helping out. No! No, you dick! Well, I think that's it. There's no way we can really reliably do this. We're gonna run out of lives before too long. All we needed was that little bit more damage just now. But Tech 2 has cannibalized all of it. I mean, literally, it is. There's a serious likelihood that Tech 2 has fucked this up. And I shouldn't have re rolled out that amazing run earlier, but I wanted to just keep re rolling. I was like, fuck it. <laughs> you know? Do as you will. Try me. It is possible to avoid all this bullshit, but uh, not if you're me, apparently. If that was me hiding behind Dry Baby like a wimp. Don't worry about it. Yeah, just keep doing that. See if I can. No explodey ones. Yeah, bastard! Can we die? Please, <laughs> I just want it to be over. I'm gonna find out that I'm. Oh, I walked into it. Whatever. It's over. <laughs> what a run! That turned in. That started badly. It turned amazing. It went bad again. I think I used the D100 perfectly. Oh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.